This tutorial is going to talk to you about how to handle units when we're making calculations with Microsoft Excel. And what I'm going to push home is that we should always, always use a consistent set of units. And provided we have a consistent set of units, it's very easy to change from one set of units to another set of units. Now, I've uh, prepared a calculation template uh, which helps us handle units. I'm just going to, I've loaded it into uh, my system already and I'm just going to use that template. Uh, you can download uh, your copy from the Excel Counts website uh, or in fact it's delivered with uh, the XLC add-in as well. Uh, and okay, here it is. It's, uh, it's, it's a performer for uh, any general calculation. Uh, but this is the bit of the calculation I just want to talk to you about. You can select a, a unit, uh, a consistent set of units using this combo box here, and there's a choice of units to use. And what's actually happening here, or how it should be used, is actually that combo box works in conjunction with this table here. And the table is a, a table of consistent units. So provided we take units from any uh, individual row, we're always using a consistent set of units. So uh, here we have uh, an SI set of units, uh, an, another form of SI uh, which uses millimetres. Uh, a lot of engineers prefer to work in millimetres rather than metres. Uh, or there's some American sets of units here with some uh, more unusual uh, measurements, or unusual to me anyway. There's a, a slug here for measuring mass, not something that I use uh, on a daily basis. Uh, and some more uh, American units here. And there's also a fundamental uh, set of units, and this is quite useful if you want to check dimensions of a uh, an equation. Uh, let's quickly do uh, something very simple. Uh, let's work out. Um, let's do a very simple calculation for uh, work. So work is force times distance. So I'm going to put my uh, force in there. And I'm going to put my distance in here uh, and I'm going to calculate work so work is equal to force times distance Oops. made a mistake there, beg your pardon uh, I should have clicked on that, I think I must have missed there we go, force times distance uh, so the simple calculation is done now let's get the uh, units correct now I've left this here uh, this comes w when uh, you open the uh, template and in fact what this is doing it's a little formula that says go off and find me the consistent set of units for stress when I'm working in SI millimeters so I'm, I'm just going to I've left it on the sheet so I can simply copy it down uh, and of course it's incorrect at the moment because uh, this isn't a stress here this is a force so we just have to change that and we select Newtons this of course is uh, a length and this of course is work there we go so we have uh, a consistent set of units now uh, for the SI um, millimeter set of uh, consistent set of units now the beauty of this is that if I say up oh, uh, I'm working say in Europe and I've uploaded this to Excel count site and somebody in America downloads this calculator, I'd like to be able to use this calculation, is going to be put off by uh, the units, or potentially put off by the units. What, we c what he could do then is simply change his set of units. Uh, he's obviously going to have to change these numbers anyway, uh, his input numbers, uh, because he wants to do his own calculation, but at least now he's working in uh, a consistent set of his own units. So. That's really uh, the only point I w I'd like to make. Uh, it's important to use a consistent set of units, and if you use the XLC uh, calculation template, uh, there's features and facilities in there to allow you change from one system of consistent units to another very easily. Okay, thank you very much for listening.